Hi guys, this is Karthik from Karthik Simplified and I'm going to talk to you guys following Noura's previous videos about question number four from LLU, Loma Linda's Supplemental Questions. The question goes like this, LLU believes in deeply integrating spiritual values into our, into their educational experience. As a result, religious courses and chapel attendance are a part of the curriculum. Tell us why you believe such a faith-based education would be of special benefit to you. Now, you have to clearly note that they are talking about faith and they are not talking about religion. Now, there are religion-based courses, but they are stressing on the fact that it's spirituality. So, inculcating spirituality is different from imposing faith. If you believe in that, then you would you'd be able to make a much more powerful state, like essay and convince them as to why you believe faith-based education matters to you. One starting point that you can use is if you have involved yourself in any faith-based institution. That could be your school, which might be a Christian convent, that could be some other religion-based institu uh, like institution you've worked as part of, or volunteered as part of, or practiced as part of. That could be a dentist under whom you practiced, who had great Christian values, and who probably read the Bible every night before he went to sleep, quoted a few verses when he practice treatment or, you know, provided care for anybody in, in his vicinity. So any of these references where in a faith-based institution you have worked or under a person who stro holds strong faith-based values, you can connect to that theme to bring around your answer around why you believe a faith-based education matters to you. Uh, if you. If you're a Christian, there are a couple of points you can bring out. I mean, you need, especially if you believe in Seventh-day Adventism. And I guess you know that Seventh-day Adventism is a subsect of Christianity religion where they are a little different. They have Sabbath on Saturdays. They don't go to the church on Sundays. Um, they are strictly vegetarian. They also try to avoid alcohol, just like in the Loma Linda campus where women and men are in different uh, hostels and they avoid non-vegetarian food and alcohol on campus. Um, so these are some unique like aspects of Seventh Day Adventism that you can bring in. However, coming back to the question, if you are a Christian, you can think about this uh, example where uh, Christ's Apostle Luke, one of the Gospel writers, was credited as a doctor in the Bible. Catholics even treat him as a patron saint of physicians and surgeons, which shows Christian affinity for healing, also exhibited through the miracles he performed on blind men, lepers and cripples. In your essay, you could refute the misconception of faith and science as opposing forces. So you can like bring about the fact that you believe that faith and science are not in contradiction with each other, like Dan Brown's books, but in fact, faith is a foundation upon which science can be built further. Or faith is a is a place that, like a catapult, it, it pulls you back and grounds you in fundamental values before you get education or science and deliver care to people. Now, imagine uh, a knife. A knife can be used to cut vegetables and serve food for 1,000 people, or a knife can be used to kill one person. The same tool in the wrong hands has different consequences, correct? Think of religion in that sense. Sorry, think of education in that sense. If faith grounded you, if faith got, gave you the right values and morals within you, you would probably use the tool of education to provide the best of care to people who come to get service from you. That's that's the point that you would want to convey. If you were a non-religious, I'm um, sorry, if you're not religion agnostic, but if you're a non-Christian person, you can talk about aspects of getting involved in some religious practices and how that has refined you. Maybe you went to the local satsang, or maybe you went to a mass prayer gathering, and you socialized with people there, you, you met people from different communities and how they all were level set in their interactions in front of God, how they all, you know, maybe sat on the floor, sat in the church and spoke the same language, felt the same love, shared the same care, ate the same food. You can talk about that. You can speak about what kind of involvement you had, whether you sang at a carol, whether you participated in a, in a group choir, whether you, you know, took place in some cultural activity, whether you were part of the uh, massive, uh, you know, donation collection activity or, or food serving or something like that. So your involvement being part of the service 
can bring out some values that you would have imbibed from that and you continue to you know, think through when you serve people, even with your dental tools. These are some values that you can bring about if you are not a Christian and then bring the connection between that, um, those values and how Christianity identifies with it. Like I said earlier, they are not trying to impose religion. They are not trying to convert you. They are trying to give you a fundamental sense, uh, an education in spirituality. And spirituality can elevate education. You, people have different perspectives. And please be honest about that perspective when you bring it out. Um, finally, probably at the end of this essay, and I, I guess most of you would obviously think about this, is convey the fact about if there were one or two opportunities uh, that you see in the religious curriculum of LLU that excite you? Is it something, you know, that, that weekly church visits or religious readings or any, any preaching, teaching, any of that, any one or two aspects of this faith-based education that really impresses you and that you would want to participate and be a part of, you could bring that out. Another thing is you can speak about how you wish to explore and further strengthen what you have learned about faith in general and use that as a lever to make your education a lot more useful and valuable to people. I've spoken a lot. I should probably stop now. So in, in three simple steps, step number one, mention what faith does to education in your perspective. Step number two, write about an example where you have involved yourself in a faith-based institution or a faith or got, taken part, contributed to a religi religious activity. Step number three, write about one or two significant things that LLU impresses with in their education system and that you would want to be a part of to strengthen your basic religious values. With these three simple steps, you should be able to rock it. Thank you, guys.